This southern Idaho highway punches through what was molten lava just 10,000 years ago. A blink of an eye in geologic time. You know, I'd seen it from the road, I'd seen the lava flow across the road, and I'd read about it in the literature that we have for the wilderness study areas and everything. When I finally had the chance to come up here and visit it, I came up over the hill and I thought, wow, this is, I, I described it as Tolkien-esque because it's, so, it's such an austere-looking volcanic landscape. This shield volcano, called Black Butte, rises just 200 feet above its surroundings on the Snake River Plain, making it barely visible from the highway. Very few people actually visit this area, and it's one of the things I've been working on here at the BLM, is, is to try to raise people's knowledge and their understanding of the different natural resources we have. Hiking through this hostile landscape offers a tour into recent volcanic past. Sheets of basaltic lava remain extremely well preserved. Here, few plants are able to put down roots, which can break up the rock. Black Butte is identical to the type of volcanoes still active in Hawaii today. Just 10,000 years ago, a lava lake filled this crater complex. What you have here is the underside of a miniature lava tube. At its peak, waves of molten lava washed over the crater's rim. As it fills up, it would just go over the sides like water spilling out of a bathtub. The sheets of lava can still be seen. Their undersides are bright red. Part of Black Butte is open to mining. The rock is sold for decorative siding. A checkerboard of red and black shows where darker outer layers have been removed. But about 5,000 acres is designated as a wilderness study area. The MBLM has a multiple use management mandate and that includes conservation. It's not just oil and gas, it's not just mining and timber and recreation. It's actually what are we doing to conserve and protect these national treasures that we have. The Bureau of Land Management is required to conserve this area's wilderness qualities until Congress decides whether or not to permanently protect this often overlooked geologic gem. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.